the man, Chef Cordry as well. Enjoyed thoroughly listening to them. And before that, Chuma Nolly was here with Sports uh, Drive. Also thoroughly enjoyed the conversation there. Don't worry, we have more conversations right here on the Morning Cross for our week. And take your contributions on what we have to talk about next by phone call. You can contribute via WhatsApp messages or WhatsApp call. Well, we can't take a WhatsApp call now. Uh, you can contribute via um, uh, Facebook. We have a YouTube streaming live on Facebook and YouTube. And also we are um, streaming live on yeah, YouTube and Facebook only. We can also take your contributions via, um, let me see, via Instagram. We're waiting for our guest to join us immediately as our guest joins us. We'll put him on the air. But this morning, we are looking at the menace, the menace of fake doctors. Quacks. People who are not qualified to be doctors and are parodying themselves as doctors. You know, the one that took the cake for me in recent uh, time, on previous times, was uh, to see uh, people who are parodying as lawyer go to court, wear wig and gown okay and then um represent clients in court in fact one was caught recently don't worry i'll get the audio for you so we listen to it if you if you have not watched it already and he was interviewed by the police uh, the police gave him and him what journalists you know journalists now how we do i think when police will parade people and they will just say hey what is your name they put mike in front of you suspect you're a journalist you're interviewing the suspect putting him on on camera are you out of your mind Journalist, I'm one of you. Are you out of your mind? Suspect, where they never carry go court. The police parade the person. Then you go and start interviewing him. They say you interview him. I don't understand. It's wrong. But anyway, this guy was caught. You know where? Uh, um, I think he was caught in court, or he had been going to court. That's the one that used to like. It's to blow my mind. Like, <laughs> you're, you're a fake lawyer, and then you have the temerity, the tenacity, the audacity. To, to go to court. <laughs> court, oh. I think there's one they caught some time ago. And they tried him there and then in court. They, they tried him. They forgot the case they were handling. And they tried him. You know? But this one, the funny thing is, when they, the journalists were interviewing him, uh, you know what? Uh, my colleagues, you know, what is your name? Uh, why did you steal that thing? What they asked those kind of things. <laughs> I think they tired me, oh. Man, I don't lie. Be journalists, but they tired me. Yeah, I, I just, I usually dissociate myself from that, those things. If I'm a journalist, I'm around there. I'll just walk away and just stand in one corner. Why is that? What is your name? Did you kill the woman? Why did you kill her? What was it? What? Ah, ah. But anyway, they asked this guy, why did you take the wig and gown? He said that he was keeping it in his office. In case any lawyer does not have wig and gown, they can just come to his office and take one. <laughs> I said, see, lie. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. lie. <laughs> but anyway, the menace of fake doctors, it, it's come to national consciousness in recent time. Uh, with the story um, complaints uh, of um, organ theft, organ theft um, in a part of Nigeria. We have two for the price of one this morning. I'd like to say good morning to our guests and I hope they can hear me. We're streaming live on YouTube so you can see them. Um, despite the ranking of medical profession or professionals um, that a country produces, it will be ranked high. There are contradictions that have continued to plague the country. Among them is a menace of fake doctors. According to reports, the current economic situation in the country, you know, coupled with the shortage of doctors, is now being uh, is now subjecting Nigerians to uh, seeking solutions to their health issues from quacks and unskilled trado medics. Others who are resorting to self medication uh, with grave consequences. All right, we'll look at some more, but I want to quickly go to our guest this morning. I have uh, joining us Dr. Jumbo and if you. Hezekiah, uh, as a second vice president of NARD, I'm taking it national vice uh, president, if I'm not mistaken. But he's with the University of Oyo Teaching Hospital. He joins us from Oyo Akwa Abasi, Ibom State. Uh, he's a senior registrar uh, at the Department of Hematology and Blood Transfusion Medicine. Dr. Jumbo, good morning to you. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, good morning. Thank you for having me. All right, all right. I saw a smile on your face as I talked about our quiet bomb scene. We also have joining us uh, Dr. Jafet Olubogi. He is a public health specialist and a medical health officer, um, and he joins us also as well on the program. Thank you very much for your time, uh, Dr. Jafet uh, Olubogi. 
Thank you very much for having me on the show. This all morning. right, all right. I, I take it that you, um, your your work is primarily in the fellow do uh, LCDA. Am I correct, Doctor Lubogi? Yes, you're correct. All right, fantastic. I always love my love my uh, public health physicians. Um, let me start with you, uh, Doctor um, Jumbo. Um, you heard of the story of a, a fake doctor somewhere in George Plateau State, I believe. Um, what's your your view of that development? Because uh, from what we hear, what we've read. He's been practicing for years. Dr. Nefiok, has gone. Okay, thank you very much for the question. I did hear about um, the story. And in this um, 21st century, it's actually um, disheartening. It's uh, discouraging. And it's as if the country has just refused to move forward. Because um, in this day and age, it's not difficult to find out who a particular person is anywhere in the world, even to reach anybody in the world. So I don't know why that is difficult in, uh, in the Nigeria. I wouldn't want to say uh, the health sector as a whole. Um, I don't know why that is uh, still difficult now. And it also tells... Uh, it, it, um, it tells so much about um, our security apparatus and also uh, system because it is not difficult to identify a doctor. There is uh, what we call folio number, which every doctor in practicing in Nigeria or that has graduated from Nigeria or that has um, had something to do in Nigeria has. And that number is peculiar to you till you die. And even at the point of death, that number is not given to another person. So the uh, Ministry of Health or the employers of uh, doctors they should have a website and uh, where um, doctors could be, doctor's identity could be like verified. And you can tell, oh, if someone is this or, or that, and also the security of the workplace. It shows how porous um, the workplace security is. Somebody can pose as a doctor and go to maybe harm a patient and the person will go scot free. It means these things have been happening without uh, notice. So um, it's, it's actually um, discouraging and we need to beam our searchlights on um, on on this issue of fake doctors and fake, fake health uh, care workers in uh, Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Jimbo and uh, Dr. Jaffa Tulubogi, um, uh, your colleague has said, you know, we have uh, uh, an easy way to identify uh, the fake doctors um, in our society. Uh, do you agree with him? Uh, because, I mean, I, I, I don't see the number on, on the... Uh, uh, on their jacket, on their lab coat. So, would it be easy, easy for for the public, members of the public, um, those of us who are laymen and women, to identify these uh, these fake doctors? Yes, yeah, thank you very much once again. Uh, I think the answer to that question is yes and no. Uh, yes, on the perspective of the medical professionals, uh, they can easily identify a colleague who is not a colleague. Uh, someone who is uh, posing to be a doctor, but who is not a doctor. Uh, another doctor can easily identify such a fellow. But to the general public, it can be very difficult. And uh, that's why I said yes and no. Uh, because when you walk into the hospital in Nigeria, in most parts of Nigeria, almost every male you see in the hospital, especially when they're well-dressed, uh, is assumed to be a doctor. And uh, because people like uh, bogus names and they like to attribute past to themselves in Nigeria, they, they claim the name, they claim the title, and they mm -hmm. don't debunk it. Uh, so when you call them doctors, uh, they even go around, call themselves doctors, hang stethoscopes in their vehicles, mm -hmm. you know, uh, write doctor before their names on social media and all that. So it may not be easy for the general public to actually identify uh, a doctor, who is a doctor and who is not a doctor. Uh, but for the medical professionals, uh, there are ways, there are so many ways, uh, including what uh, the last speaker has just said, uh, for medical professionals to identify someone who is not uh, a medical practitioner. Hmm. Very interesting. Uh, I, I'm just learning about this folio number, Dr. Uh, uh, Neofiok. 
uh, and Dr. Lubogi. Um, it's interesting. Um, I think members of the public need to be aware of that. Um, uh, but Dr. Lubogi talked about the fact that you know people can easily uh, uh, mistake some some others for medical doctor. I remember when I was. Uh, you know, attending to my, my late father at the University of Port Harcourt Teaching Hospital. You know, sometimes people walk up to me, doctor, doctor, uh, please, I have a problem. I'll say I'm not a doctor, you know, because of the way I look. I'm telling you, it's so real. So I understand what you're both saying. Uh, doctor Jumbo, um, uh, for you, for you, we hear that this, um, uh, this, this suspected quack uh, medical doctor, Noah uh, Kekere, um, who allegedly harvested a woman's kidney in a hospital in Joss. He ran the hospital for years. Um, for years. How is this able to happen? Because, I mean, um, yes, you've talked about a folio number, but, I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I don't go to a hospital looking for the certificate. I expect that any hospital I can see by the road um, should be a proper hospital. So, what led to this, so what leads to the fact of the, the fact that a doctor or a fake doctor can have a hospital run it for years and treat people for years on without being stopped, Doctor Enifio Kezaka? Yeah, well, um, um, it's 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 simply um, um, the problem that has been uh, bedeviling uh, this country, which is. Uh, uh, encapsulated in the word called uh, corruption, corruption and ineptitude, uh, at least on the part of uh, the regulatory agencies, uh, the bodies. And um, also, I think our lawmakers need to uh, also do uh, much work in this regard in terms of um, uh, bringing out um, stricter laws. It's like the laws uh, they don't know um, the consequences of the law uh, uh, concerning um, impersonation and quackery and, uh, and um, putting the lives of Nigerians at, uh, at risk as posing as a, a doctor. I think um, the regulatory bodies need to be held uh, accountable for this. It means they've not been doing their work in terms of going around to check the different uh, hospitals in the in the state. It's not about paying uh, revenue. Most of them are interested in paying, I mean, collecting revenue. And they are not, um, who accredits um, the, 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 the private hospitals in town. And some of them, uh, anybody can just, we've had several cases of people coming up to say, I'm a beautician, I'm a, I'm a cosmetic uh, doctor, and so they, they've gotten certificates from um, maybe one online course and all that skincare mm. in, in, New, in New, that. New York City. <laughs> yes, they'll just print, go to one cyber cafe and uh, print one certificate, and then before you know, they open the let me call it a shop and uh, start to operate without license. I think um, there need to be uh, stricter uh, laws. And I think the professional uh, healthcare bodies like NMA, like um, uh, PSN, that's the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria, the Nurses Association, NAMS, and, uh, and the other ones, the medical uh, uh, mm -hmm. lab scientists, all these associations need to come together and have perhaps a tax force in each state because it is this dichotomy that is encouraging quackery and um, um, fake doctor. You see somebody that is a lab scientist practicing as a doctor. All right. You see somebody that is a pharmacist practicing as a doctor. All right. You will not even see doctors, some doctors training uh, nurses. Okay, uh, 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 auxiliary nurses. These things yeah. ought not to be. Dr. Jimbo, so, well, 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 the lab scientists have been going on strike because I think they also feel that they should be equal to you guys. But uh, uh, Dr. Olubo, what's your take on this issue of regulatory uh, bodies? I mean, we also have the Medical and Dental Regulatory Council of Nigeria. We have the Ministry of Health and all these other bodies. Uh, your take on why some a do a fake doctor can operate a hospital for a number of years, harvesting and doing all sorts of things. Well, I think the fault lies with all of us, uh, uh, not just the regulatory bodies or the government. Uh, we're always quick to blame the government, but uh, we are the government. We, the people, are the government. The government, people who occupy the, the positions come from within us. 
Now, uh, yeah, let me start with the regulatory bodies. The regulatory bodies uh, are not doing the due diligence they ought to be doing uh, because such a thing cannot happen overseas, uh, especially in the Western world. Uh, for someone to register a hospital, uh, you ought to uh, get some documents uh, from NMA, for instance, uh, for you to uh, also get from the local government where the hospital is going to be resident. Also, the uh, state regulatory body that's in charge of registering hospitals ought to certify that hospital after doing their due diligence. That is, they will visit the hospital, check the document, check the structure, check infrastructure, check the equipment, uh, look at the, uh, the, the, the workforce in that particular hospital. And they will review everything thoroughly uh, before they grant such a hospital uh, the certificate to practice or to ex be established. Now, uh, I blame everyone because it is not almost impossible for such a doctor to establish a hospital without the help of another doctor. Okay? Uh, this man, I understand, has hired doctors, has hired nurses, has hired professionals uh, in this hospital for years. He must have been understudying uh, these doctors that he hired. Some of these doctors may have realized at some point in time that, oh, this fellow is pra uh, probably not uh, who he says he is. Or, but, but for one reason or the other, they, they refuse to blow the whistle. Uh, they refuse to speak out. Or if they have spoken out, maybe they have not done that enough. And apart from that, the enemy itself, uh, the enemy uh, has... Uh, zones. The enemy also has even uh, local branches uh, where each member uh, of the medical profession ought to belong. And uh, I mean, when they fraternize, uh, you would uh, be able to find out some information about a particular person and you would know whether the person is actually a medical doctor or not uh, through such associations, through such fraternizations and through such interactions. So we, we have all been negligent and um, I dare say that he isn't the only person out there that is, in, you know, impersonating a doctor or impersonating a medical facility. There are tons of that. And uh, we, 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 we have every cadre of the medical profession, you know, falling into this kind of abyss. So, and I'm sure it's because of the lack of collaboration, uh, lack of due diligence, and then corruption, greed, and uh, uh, maybe sometimes ignorance as well. Ignorance on the part uh, of the general public uh, because, I mean, if they don't know, they will visit the hospital and continue to visit the hospital again. I I, I keep saying that um, this gentleman should, should not have been able to perform that surgery that he performed. Mm. Uh, removing someone's kidney or someone's organ is it, not a, 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 a you know, All right. uh, a... I, 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 I beg, I beg to inter interrupt, Dr. Lubugi. We have to take a commercial break. So we'll return after this break to take your thoughts, please. Uh, stay with us. We'll be right back. Lagos, I am pretty sure you do not know what is going on, but that is why I'm here to give you the lowdown on what is going on. And what is going on is none other than the biggest healthcare trade platform in all of West Africa coming to Lagos. And we are thrilled to announce it to you. So here's the gist. Medic West Africa is celebrating its 10th anniversary.
para dar ao recurso que é aquele que aquele que tem o que tem o que tem o que tem falta de dinheiro o que é herança e o que não é dinheiro o que é herança e o que não é dinheiro o que é a possibilidade de ganhar o que é dinheiro o que é herança e o que não é dinheiro e é aquele que tem o que tem que é herança a herança é bem diferente e isso é algo raro e que aqui na Colômbia nós conseguimos encontrar bastante raro mas que raro é dar aquele que tem o que tem é possível agora nós estamos conseguindo encontrar e conseguir aquele a qual e realmente que é aquele a qual e nós vamos ver por um tempo que por um tempo que é bem raro isso acontecer aqui na Colômbia e nós vamos conseguir encontrar o que é aquele que tem o que tem e que é bem diferente e lá nós temos sempre a questão ok pero yo tengo que ser Thank <laughs> you. 
Welcome back. You're still listening to the Morning Crossfire right here on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Uh, we're still talking about the menace of fake doctors in Nigeria. I told you my little joke of uh, a lawyer who was caught recently and while well, the press were interviewing him, uh, well, why did he do what you do? He said he kept the wig and gown in his office so that um, any doctor, that, any lawyer that forgets his wig and gown, maybe he's going to court can just pass by his office to take it. So for the fake doctors, I wonder what excuse they will give. But we have this current this current doctor who has been alleged uh, 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 of uh, being complicit in the organ harvesting um, uh, activities and alleged to be a fake doctor. He's uh, been placed under psychiatric care. Uh, but we'll look at that some more. Our guest this morning uh, to medical practitioners, Dr. Jafet Olugboge uh, is with us. And Dr. Jimbo Nefekezkaya is with us as well. 
your calls, uh, your contributions are welcome on the phone numbers earlier advertised, 0700-993-993-993. Um, what are your thoughts on the development, the story? And of course, generally asking you, uh, what do we need to do to ensure that Nigerians do not have to put up again with fake doctors? It's nothing new. It's been there for some time, for quite some a number of years. But what can be done to end such a trend? Uh, 0700 993 993 993. You can head on to Facebook, uh, search for Nigeria Info 99.3 on YouTube. We're streaming on Facebook and YouTube as well. Uh, both uh, platforms you can search for us at Nigeria Info 99.3. We're on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM. And of course, we're also on Instagram as well. Our WhatsApp number is. All right, you can reach us on WhatsApp, and of course, the number is 080. What is the WhatsApp number again? Lord have mercy on me. Yes, 080 0909597 You can send your messages there as well. Uh, guest this morning, uh, Dr. Uh, and New York Hezekiah Jumbo is the second vice president of the National Association of Resident Doctors. Uh, doctor, is that is that the uh, um, University of Rio uh, Teaching Hospital chapter? No, no. Okay, national. national. Okay, all right, all right, fantastic. Thanks for the clarification. So he's the second vice president of the NARD National, and of course a senior a senior registrar at the Department of Hematology and Blood Transfusion Medicine, ah. University of Rio Teaching Hospital. Also, we have uh, with us. Uh, First guest, he is um, uh, Dr. Jafet Olubogi. And Dr. Jafet Olubogi is a public health specialist, is a medical officer uh, uh, at the Ife Lodun LCDA. He's a member of the Nigerian Medical Association, Lagos, and a chairman of the Committee on COVID 19 and NMA in Lagos, also a member of the Association of Public Health Physicians of Nigeria. Dr. Lubogi, if I'm not mistaken, you had some um, a committee where you, you guys uh, in the NMA, you uh, doctors in the NMA, you came together to do something about uh, fake doctors. Am I correct? Yes, uh, very much correct. Mm. T -t Tell us about that. Very briefly, please. Okay. Uh, thank you very much once again. Uh, the last administration of the, the Nigerian Medical Association of uh, 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 in Lagos, uh, there, there was the anti quackery committee, which uh, I was a strong member of, and uh, we were in a hotel for a couple of days, and uh, we brainstormed on uh, how to end quackery in Nigeria. So at the end of the day, we produced uh, a paper, a document uh, over ten pages uh, on how to end quackery uh, in Nigeria. And uh, the high point of, the, of that is that we made several recommendations, and uh, such recommendations included that uh, all the uh, health workforce uh, come together and, uh, as a body, begin to flush out uh, quacks in the medical profession. And uh, not when I when I say medical profession, I mean in the healthcare sector. Uh, so, uh, because we also recommended that. Uh, Medical practitioners should stop training auxiliary nurses uh, in their various uh, private hospitals. Uh, apart from that, we also recommended that uh, the bodies that are taxed with, uh, you know, ensuring and enforcing uh, these uh, rules, uh, you know, do more of enforcement. Uh, and uh, we are talking about uh, a pharma, as the case may be in Lagos. Uh, there are other agencies in other states. Uh, that are responsible for registering hospitals and uh, uh, giving them uh, license to practice. Then the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria also should uh, have a task force uh, that, that will comprise enemy members that will go around uh, to fish out uh, this bad X in our medical profession. Uh, so we submitted uh, this document to NMA Lagos. Uh, NMA Lagos uh, was to, you know, uh, liaise with the state government and see that the document was uh, developed into a policy. Um, uh, I will need to find out if that has been done. But okay. I strongly doubt that uh, that right. process has been completed right. yet. So w when was uh, this? that document is there. That was in 2020. Uh, 20
2020, I think. That okay. was in 2020. Okay, I, I don't know if it's possible. I'd like to have a look at the document as well so we can at least uh, be in step with all of you if that's possible. Well, we have a listener on the line. Uh, good morning. Yes, can you hear me, please? Sorry for keeping you this long on the line. Are you there? Yes, sir. Okay. Very briefly, please go on. W what's your contribution or question? Good morning. Good morning. Um, I think um, this has been going on for a, a very long time. And uh, just like you just submitted, they presented the paper. You know, that's the thing in Nigeria, bureaucracy. How many times the, even the... A national orientation agency. Do you understand? Because they know they, these quacks, they enter into like interior to open up, not in the cities where the people are learned to know what is happening. How many times have they gone around to say, this is happening, be careful. And then the, those that are supposed to be clamping down, what are they doing? Do okay. you understand? Okay. And then there should be online something. All the registered ones go online. A lot of children, both the rich and the poor, they can Google things online. Okay. And then these are qualified ones. All right. All it's right. not about submitting the paper. Okay. Okay. Good morning. Th thank you so much. I appreciate your time. I, I think uh, we, that's something we can build on. What they did was a good one. Um, but you've said it all. Uh, Dr. Jobo and Ifik, we, we are pressed for time. Uh, for those who are not medical practitioners, who have no knowledge like me of what you guys are taught in medical school, give us some steps that we can, we can, we can use to be able to at least maybe tell if we are in... Uh, a fake hospital or not. I know it's not easy, but at least help us in a way to get closer to telling. We have to also use our head, but is, are there some steps you can give us? Very quickly, we have less than two minutes. I'm so sorry. Well, um, one of the quickest way I would always um, uh, or step, I would always uh, tell people is to first and foremost, um, if you know anybody that's a doctor, ask the person about that doctor. There is no way, and it's very, very difficult for a doctor not to know another doctor. So before you go see a particular um, private um, uh, doctor, I think um, it is better you either go to a public um, hospital, and if perhaps you're not satisfied with their services in the public hospital, you can tell them, okay, please, do you know a private place that um, I can go get uh, this treatment, maybe because your bed space is a field or because uh, the turnaround time is, um, is, uh, is, 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 is long, in, right. too long for uh, one to wait. Because I think what basically drives people to private hospitals. One is um, uh, the turnaround time, the patient influx in um, uh, in the government hospitals might not allow um, people to see the doctors uh, early enough. Okay. So, and if one don't have that kind of time, one can uh, ask for, for this. But other than that, it's usually very difficult for uh, a, the public to know who is a, who is a fake, who is a fake. It's very very difficult because some of them are medical dropouts, so they know the. Are you ambitious to earn above five hundred thousand and willing to take a career to the next level? Closed. Do you have a car and ready to start a new career work in an American company? Then this is an opportunity for you. An American company in Lekki is recruiting in the managerial position. Kindly send your resume and application letter to jobs.kyevalir at gmail.com or call 0815-705-0505 or 0906-282-0052 to book an interview. This is an infomercial. infomercial. All right, we'd like to say a very good, uh, big thanks to our guests uh, um, this morning, uh, Dr. Jimbo Enefiokezka and uh, Dr. Jaf Jafet Olubogi. We are at press for time, but we appreciate you all the same. Thank you so much. And apologies, we had to squeeze uh, this into a very little time. Thank you. Thank for you very much. Us. Dr. Jaff, thank, thank you so thank much. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We'll follow up on this conversation uh, some more. We'll have you back, definitely. Uh, and we also want to look at that document. Dr. Jaff, can I get the document at some point? Yes, yeah, sure, sure. Okay, I'll right. search for it. Okay, thank you very much. All right, we have messages coming through. Uh, this one is sent in from... Uh,
Uh, gosh, no time. Uh, Ewa, Ewa says we need Nigeria needs to create a database for all Nigerians with a database we can locate anybody who claims to be uh, a Nigerian. Uh, with this transparent procedures, everybody functionals, every functional health, or every functional institution in every profession can be assessed based on the data and quackery can be traced. Ewa, thank you very much for your message. A day from Iyano Shashi. I hope I got that right. Thank you very much for your message as well. All right, my name is Kofi Bartels. Um, I'll be back to read a couple of more messages after this commercial timeout. Stay with us. Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it